So one such case of causticum, it was a case of a very famous lady. She came to my clinic with a very bad rheumatoid arthritis. She was around 90 years old, around 90, but having rheumatoid since last 30 years. Since last many years, she never touched allopathic drugs. She was only on homeopathy, but her homeopathic doctor died and he referred the case to me. And she used to live in near Worli area where government of India gave her a house to live because her brother was a freedom fighter, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. So her sister was equally old and she came to my clinic. This was many years back and in a white sari, khadi sari, you know, made from a pure cotton. And I asked her about her life. And when you see the whole life, it was fighting for a cause, fighting for a cause, fighting for a cause. She was crippled, deformed, stiffness, rigidity. Well, what does she do? Even at this age, she writes letter to Prime Minister, letter to the Minister, letter to this department, that department. Most of the time her focus was on education for underprivileged and opening more and more school for underprivileged and fighting for the rights of women. She was a patient of Dr. B. N. Chakravati. When Dr. B. N. Chakravati died, his son, who is also a homeopath, referred her to me. And so I started treating her with causticum 6, causticum 30. And I treated till she died. Till she died, she was under my care for causticum 30 with very good results. She was very happy. She was very comfortable. I removed all her pains and agony with causticum. Dr. George Vithulka has also had a lovely case of spondyloarthrosis, which he presented in the academy. This was a case of a Canadian activist who was fighting for the social cause of wearing a helmet on the road. He was of the view that certain people with certain religious things should be allowed not to wear a helmet on the, in, on the road. And the government said wearing a helmet is compulsory. And based on this social cause and fighting and ankylosis and stiffness and this Vithukas could cure quite nicely the whole phenomena. And so, with whatever I have described so far, describes you the whole idealism of causticum and how these people are, that they dedicate their whole life. Whether they are married or they are not married, it is always the others who come first. So to be idealistic, the first phenomena, the first syndrome that one adopts is whole world is my family, whole universe is my family, brotherhood, universal truth, all those phenomena come under the label of idealism. Do you follow? Very difficult to find a true idealistic. Politicians portray to be idealistic, but they are never an idealistic. A homeopathic physician is not a symptom collector or a symptom taker. If you are like that, you will fail miserably in your life. Because sometimes, let's say you repertorize by symptom collector and two remedies or four remedies comes in the first row with the same marks. Then what will you do? Totally screwed up. Then you will say, okay, for first one, one month this remedy, second one month this, you pay a play a loto. That's not what it is. Learn the art and learn the science in a proper way. So how many of you know about Karl Marx? So Karl Marx was really fighting, 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 fighting. Correct? But majority of the time he was living a comfortable life in this city, London. He will tell the worker, oh, revolt against your this, he is underpaying you, he is doing this, this, this. He is enjoying, your boss is enjoying this, 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 leave him. 
ask for a war salary, this revolt against him, join my union, pay the union's fee, I will help for you. But where are you? In London with my girlfriends, enjoying alcohol, beer and everything. He was lucky that he could do both the life at the same time. But still that doesn't make him a true idealistic because a true idealistic will sleep with him, will eat with him and live with him. He is not a, still a true idealistic. But if you leave, read the life of Karl Marx, just go to Wikipedia and read something about him. See, a wider knowledge in homeopathy is always welcome. Sulfur patients are like Karl Marx. They are idealistic. But in a deeper sense, they only love themselves and they only love their own ideas. So what happens is, if somebody doesn't respect their all the ideas, sulfur will throw him out. Sulfur will reject him. So sulfur wants total acceptance. But how will people accept him when he is not also so much practical? His ideas are more on theory. His ideas are more impractical. However, this is what sulfur is. Selfish to his idea, projects that he is idealistic, but in a larger way he is more selfish and sticks to his own ideas.